I'm Angel Broner, president of EB5 Capital. We own and operate a number of regional centers around the country, most notably in Washington, D.C., California, and New York. Our first project was in 2006 as a partnership with the state of Vermont, and then in 2008 we filed for our first regional center, making us one of the first dozen regional centers in the country. We've maintained a 100% approval rate on all past projects, and we've returned capital to our earliest investors across multiple transactions. As part of my leadership responsibilities in the EB-5 industry, I've been elected to the Board of Directors for IIUSA, where we set the agenda for our national efforts. Hi, I'm Dan Schiff, a partner and the Managing Director of EB-5 Capital. Since our inception, we have invested in a number of different projects, including hotels, office and retail, apartments, senior housing, mixed use, and resorts. We'd had the opportunity to partner more closely with strong brands like Marriott and Hilton. On multiple occasions, they've issued support letters on our behalf to USCIS and Congress. We're a preferred partner of both, and we value their relationships. My name is Christopher Gladstone. I'm president of Quadrangle Development Corporation. Quadrangle Development Corporation is a large uh, developer, owner, and manager of commercial real estate in the mid-Atlantic area of the United States. We've completed or begun development or acquired 88 separate projects, totaling over 25 million square feet and representing about $9.6 billion of development and current cost. We're known for our integrity and our expertise in the three main product types in which we focus, in particular hotels, apartments, and office buildings. My name is Norm Jenkins. I'm president of Capstone Development based in Washington, D.C. Capstone is a development and acquisition firm specializing in hotels. All the firm principals have 25 plus years in development and financing of hotel real estate and uh, that's our bread and butter and it's our level of expertise. We're delighted to be working again with Capstone Development, Norm Jenkins, uh, on this phase two project of Columbia Place. We've known Norm for over a decade since he was a high-level executive at the Marriott Corporation and has moved on to be a development partner with us in several projects, including most particularly the Marriott Marquis. Our experience with Marriott is particularly extensive. Uh, we developed, in partnership with Marriott, the first JW Marriott on Pennsylvania Avenue, located between the White House and Capitol. And most recently, we completed with Marriott the phase one of this project, which is the Marriott Marquis Washington, which was the 4,000th hotel in the Marriott chain and is the headquarters hotel for the Washington Convention Center. It was approximately $630 million in total cost, 1,175 rooms, about 100,000 square feet of meeting space, and included a, a significant investment by EB-5. Residence Inn and Courtyard, total of 504 rooms, is again, bullseye location adjacent to the Walter E. Washington Convention Center. Uh, the site is about 60,000 square feet and it encompasses nine historic buildings. So you have the Marriott Marquis, then Columbia Place, and just to the south is City Center. It's a billion dollar plus development that includes residential, office, restaurants, bars, and the Verizon Center, which is a large multi-purpose arena. My name is Bob Knuff. I'm the Senior Vice President of Development for Quadrangle Development. I think this project is one of the more exciting projects that we've worked on. It includes nine historic structures, and all of those structures are being incorporated in important ways into the hotel. The restaurants, bars, meeting rooms, entertainment spaces throughout the hotel have a big influence on the project. But anybody who looks at the hotels that are planned wishes they had this site. This is the place to be. Like my colleagues at Quadrangle, we at Capstone are excited about the completion of the Columbia Place project and look forward to welcoming EB-5 Capital Investors to Washington, D.C. We feel a deep sense of responsibility to our investors. We treat them like family. We often ask ourselves, would you put your grandmother in that project? We prepare biannual investor reports for each of our projects, which outlines both the investment and the immigration status. We require a professional web camera at each project site, which gives our investors 24-hour access to the projects. 
We do site tours and walkthroughs for each of our projects at least twice a year. And finally, we send out newsletters to all of our investors on a regular basis to keep them updated on project, industry, and company news. We're looking forward to growing our family with each new project that we offer.